I'm Ashley. I'm the brand coordinator and marketing leader at Shop Drop. So we're going to show you a quick video actually explains our story and how we started. So I'm going to let you guys watch. Shop Drop app is your GPS to New York City sample sales. We started back in late 2016 after discovering our first sample sale, a five-day Marc Jacobs sale in downtown Manhattan, where items were selling for 80% off retail. While there were 20 to 100 sample sales happening every single week in Manhattan, there was no unified source for them. That's why we created Shop Drop. A single destination for all your sample cell needs. Shop Drop tells you when sample cells are happening, where they're happening, and what you can expect to find. Since then, we've grown to a robust community of 50,000 New York City fashionistas that is active on the app, web, and social. We've generated $800,000 in sales by collaborating with brands and shoppers in different ways. Our next challenge is figuring out how to scale and position the app for success. That's why we need your help. Okay, so really quickly right now, we're going to see a screen grab of our app. So, oh, so it's going to take you to the main page where you're able to see what sample sales are currently going on, what to look forward to, and what's ending. So if you go on and click on a specific sale, which it'll do right now, you can get some details regarding time, location, and date, as well as details on the merchandise and products being offered. Our users are also allowed to RSVP and make comments, so a lot of users talk about what products they got, what they were disappointed with, and what they were happy with. We also have this great map feature, which uses your current location, and it shows you what sales are in the area, so if you're looking to go somewhere after work. We also have a, um, a rewards program, so to incentivize our users, we do for Every app you send out, you get $10 in return when someone downloads it under your recommendation. So we're very users-based. We have 50,000 active users on social as well as our app. So the question going forward from here is what do we do? Do we host more sales in a saturated market? There's already 10 hosting venues just in New York. There are a couple in LA and Miami as well. Do we go to a completely new city and open up this whole new market or do we stay in New York and try to work through the saturated market? As well as we have another option to go through which would be to super focus on our technology and utilize really specifically working with our users and brand partnerships in our subscription model for our VIP users or hopefully we sell the technology to an offline retailer such as Saks Off Fifth or Nordstrom Rack. So going from, from there, that's all the information we have and we're looking to see what we can do. Fantastic. Well, th again, thank you so much for sharing. That's re really, it's re really good and it's really exciting to see, you know, businesses that have got to where you're, where you currently are and you're now looking at a very different challenge than, than what Shannon was at. So guys, I think we might do this a little bit different. Um, does anybody out there have any any immediate advice or thoughts that could be really useful? Oh, gentleman at the back again. Thank you. <laughs> hey, sorry, I forgot to say before, I'm Greg Bottenhorn, and I'm from uh, just outside Boston. So that's actually what struck me about this. I think, you know, you had mentioned one of your options being to move into other cities. I think New York is probably one of the tougher markets that you could have introduced this in because there are so many people doing similar things. I think you could go to a lot of other cities and this would be great. The other thing, and again, I'm just kind of flipping through the app. I haven't gotten very far, so maybe you already offer this. But it would be really cool if someone like me in Boston was able to access some of these sales in New York. So I don't know how much of an e-commerce platform you have on this or if it's just, hey, I've got to go to that store physically. Um, but again, this would help you expand your reach. And I would think from a retail perspective, they would like the opportunity to expand that reach, especially the smaller boutique firms that maybe aren't investing in an e-commerce platform themselves. You can almost be that e-commerce arm for them. So we have worked in a personal shopping program before to bring clothing to our users. And the difficulty with buying stuff from a sample sale and bringing it back and trying to sell it to others, it's kind of like a food concept. If you buy food from a supermarket, you have to hold it longer and you're paying storage and rent and the value of the food decreases. It's the same thing with retail. You're paying for to store all the extra wholesale merchandise you didn't sell through the season and then it decreases in value 
And coming from other platforms, other people have tried to do this and they aren't successful or they're currently trying to do this and it's really just, it's not taking off and it's not working. So we really have thought about this idea in a personal shopping program. It's just hard to implicate because people are very picky when it comes to their clothing. So if you do buy an item, there's no returns at a sample sale. All sales are If we do get a product back, what, what do we do it, with it from there? So is there, am, am I right in thinking there's, there's, a, there's a real short window of, of opportunity mm -hmm. when you come there? So, so there's, there's a need to generate a lot of excitement, a lot mm -hmm. of, and, and, and a, a super quick call to action. Can I, can I ask, I mean, if it's not too controversial or, you know, sensitive, are you, how many, with the users that are using it, and you say there's 50,000 people there, do you do you have a hardcore of users that are coming back time and time again? Yeah, so we do have our Shop Drop VIPs, which is a subscription-based model. So our VIP program allows for users to, well, they pay a certain amount a month, and essentially they get VIP access to certain sales with different brands. So it really could vary, and some sales they get additional discounts. If they show that they're a VIP member, then they get, let's say, 15% off their total thing. Right. So we go from there and we use that. But going forward, like the personal shopping aspect is very difficult. We do have a large group of hardcore users who do come to every single sale and we know them by name. Right. So saying that, it is growing our community. We meet a lot of people every single day. So it's growing organically from there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I, you know, I, th I think there are, the, the, there are different challenges to clearly the app that, that, that we, we had a little bit earlier on. To me, that you've said it, the community, building up communities, and I think creating cohort groups on usage, so time, heavy, medium, light users, what they're looking at, and absolutely focusing really heavily on the CRM elements of those would certainly be something that, that I would recommend you, you focus on. Uh, part of that reason, I, I believe, is because you know, you're at that point of challenge. What do you do? Do you expand into other cities? You know, do you do you utilize the platform you've got and take it somewhere else? I think you've got something really good here. And I think a real focus on that and actually trying to build up that relationship to get more usage out of those 50,000 will probably be the key focus for the next sort of six to 12 months. Building that base, looking at the revenues, increasing those revenues, and then giving you the opportunity once you've got that and that model to take it to other, uh, other, other cities. Is that, is that... Uh, uh, you know, is, is that an area of interest that you're looking at? I think it's definitely an area of interest to move to other cities. I mean, we have great relationships with some of the sample sale people who host in LA as well as Miami. So we're in great contact with them and we talk with them and they converse with us. But going again, New York is a very hard market to go into. And the thing is, is New York is known for its sample sales. Every brand office essentially has an office in New York. So all the sample sales essentially happen here. They recently just moved to LA. They recently just moved to Miami. They also happen in, in London as well, but they're not as frequent. So New York is the heart and center of the sample sale world. So going from there, we would have to make brand relationships with other high-end brands and move it essentially to other cities but the problem is is going traction into the other cities we know if we're going to host a high-end sample sale or any type of sample sale in new york you're going to get traction it's new york city but per se we go to boston we go to chicago what's going to happen there thank you um has anybody else got oh, there's a lady at the back there there's one here sorry. oh there's sorry hi me again um I do think New York is your ideal market. I'm like, I just pulled it up and there's a sample sale two streets away and I can walk there in 10 minutes. I don't think a lot of other cities have that like mobility factor where you're just like very close to everything. Um, and I think in New York, you are just like walking most of the time. So being like, oh, a sample sale, I can go there. Whereas there's like driving, planning, like decisiveness that will go on in other cities that you'll have to factor in. Thank you. So I think we've uh, got another lady here too. Hi. 
I, I agree with the um, New York evaluation. I was just curious kind of what your marketing has looked like in terms of how did you get those 50,000 users and you know how are you trying to get more people? So currently we have 55,000 users on our Instagram and we do a lot of our promoting on Instagram and Facebook because obviously it's a very um, social media driven business. It's an app. It's an application. We also on our own social media, we go to the sample sales physically and we look at the merchandise and we post about the merchandise. So we say... This sample sale has this pricing. These are the items being offered. This is when it ends. We give it a rating out of 10. So a 6 out of 10, an 8 out of 10. You should stop by. Not worth your time. So going from there, we do do a lot of in-house Instagram promoting. We have certain brands that pay us to promote their sales. So we have different app promotion packages that they can purchase and talk to us. So we also have a blog where we do after we go to the sample sale, we write about the sample sale saying, this was the pricing, here are the items, this is the season they're from. We put it up on our Instagram, we put it up on our blog, and it goes in our weekly newsletter as well. The, um, the, I, I think to be able to get so many people downloading it through the social media, which you've actually not actually paid for, is, is, is absolutely fantastic. There must be more that you could do there, more of an opportunity to bring those people in. So again, you know, that's certainly something that's, that's, that's well worth looking at. Um, we're running out of time. Uh, has anybody got any questions or any more uh, advice to share? Okay. Is there anything that you want to ask the, the audience? I do not have anything else to ask the audience, but if you could please download Shop Drop and head into any sample sales, there probably will be one of us from the team there. So if you see any of us, we're always on our Instagram. Pop over and say hi. Yeah, exactly. Download that app. It looks like a cracker. So again, everybody, please give it up for Ashley.